Ah, I am so late to this video. This game came out on Friday and now it is Wednesday. Oh my god, I was so hyped for this game and stuff came up and then I, I forgot and... Uh, but okay, we're gonna play a brand new RPG on Roblox. And you guys know me, I love myself some MMORPGs. So I really want to see if this game Mellow Blocks is worth a try. Let's take a look. Okay, so after a small loading screen, we immediately jump into the update log and a character creation. So it is actual an, uh, a character creation, so you don't play with your own avatar, which is kind of cool. I want to try if we can make Jane. It depends on if we have the hairstyle. If not, the developers really need to add this hairstyle in particular. Uh, let's see if we have it. I don't think we have. This is... This can be Jane. Oh, yo, developer, if you're watching this, add the hairstyle that I just showed. It's very important, and it's the most important thing you can ever do to any of your games. Okay, so actually, this hair is literally the worst. There isn't a single face that I can use to display eyes or anything. So unfortunately, it seems that we have to complete a completely different character. Give me a couple of minutes, I'll throw something together, and then we can actually see what this game is all about. I'm super excited. So here we have him, Gamer Guy. Unfortunately, I couldn't name him Bowie because Roblox censorships. So let's save him, and here we have him, Gamer Guy, which is, uh, which is me. Let's go into the game and see what this is all about. This looks really good so far. We got a really cool opening cutscene with Navi from uh, Legend of Zelda. Which obviously started with Wake Up. It's about the shopkeeper. Something is preventing him from returning to the city. Talk to him. And here we are. And wow. We even look at... Like we, we bow when we look. That's really cool. We got a potion icon which is nothing. We got a VIP. B, which I am not a big fan about. We can buy a starter pack. Look, XP. Very monetizable already. Uh, we don't have anything in our backpack, which is fine. Uh, but the game looks gorgeous. The, the floor, the trees, the aesthetics looks gorgeous. So let's uh, go to our shopkeeper and see uh, <laughs> what we get. Okay, so we get to pick a weapon. Also, um... <laughs> Copyright free music I hear in the background. Kind of a shame to not have your own unique sound effects. But that's that's not bad. We can do two-handed, dual wield or with a shield. Uh, I, I'm going to take the shield just for the fact that I really hope you can block. Uh, so let's take the shield. Uh, we need to equip it. So let's equip it. Oh, that works very smoothly. I really hope we get blocking abilities, because else we picked the wrong class. But it looks really, really cool. Like, absolutely awesome. Okay, here we go. Let's kill the blob. And we killed him. Ooh, we got the shopkeeper's glasses. So let's return that to him. We got quite a bit of EXP, which is super, super epic. Hey, guy, take your EXP. Ooh, we got a really cool level up animation, actually. And uh, he got his glasses on his head. That's really, really cool. Um, now we got this, which is skill points. So intelligence increase elemental damage, um, HP, um, block chance, and strength. So we're going to do strength. We're going to be full strength build, I think. This is a lot of stats. Uh, wow, I didn't expect this. Let's uh, kill another slime till we level up. Okay, uh, never mind. These slimes only give 2 XP and we need 100. I am not gonna kill 50 slimes. No way. But uh, we are tracking this quest to the city. Let's see how the city actually looks. So far, I am pretty impressed with this game. Very impressed. Like, we got a really cool HP and MP bar. Wow. Like, this is top-notch, though. This is top-notch. I think... This is where we finish the tutorial. 
Oh, wow, the, the, the wall is opening like a Harry Potter. Do we teleport to the city? No, actually. It's... Okay, the music changes. That's really cool. So we got some coming soon stuff. You can't run with shift, which is a shame. Uh, we got some fan art over here. Something that refreshes into 30 seconds. No idea what that is, but I'm gonna wait for it. Oh, it's, uh, it's medicine. It's medicine. We don't need that. We got daily rewards here. Which I'm not a big fan about in RPGs, but sure, we got a luck potion buff. And we got leaderboards, obviously. Which actually displays your character from game, which is really cool. Seems like this is the best armor in the game right now. So that is really, really cool. I feel like this is the shop where we can buy um, items. We don't have any coins. And this game works with uh, weight. That's an interesting thing for Roblox. Weight. Uh, seems like the shop refreshes every couple of hours or minutes. Which is really cool. Uh, we need to speak with Captain Rowley. But I don't have an... Uh, a quest thingy. So I'm just going to go into the wild and uh, see what it's all about. I think that is uh, Captain Rowley. Yes, he is, he is, he is. Let's, uh, let's take a look at what he wants. Probably kill some more animals. Remember how I just said I didn't want to kill 50 blobs? Kapaboomba! We need to kill 50 blobs. Um, so these are all the blobs. And uh, if you kill them, like, obviously you get some cool animations. And uh, your quest progress should go up by one. Uh, instead of killing 50 blobs here, which I, uh, I'm not gonna lie, I don't wanna do. I'm uh, gonna go explore a bit further, see what the game has to offer. In the meantime, I'm gonna kill some blobs, obviously. Because these blobs are higher level, wait. Do these give more... Whoa, these are strong! Okay, so we're not supposed to be here yet. Uh, I see a different kind of enemy here. This is Blob B. Okay, so we got Blob and Blob B. And I want to check out that portal real quick. I want to see what's up there. Let's uh, check the portal out. Recommended level 10. Does that mean we can't go in? I don't think... We can. Can we talk to you? You need to prove your word before you can travel to the next area. Okay, so we need to complete this quest before we can travel to the next area. I don't know how I feel about getting such a big grind quest at the start of the game. Uh, it makes it feel a lot more simulatory than RPG. But uh, if that's what the game wants, that's what we're gonna do. Uh, let's see how long it takes to kill 50 slimes. Yeah, 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 and I want to kill you too. Yeah, 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 yeah. And there is an amulet over here, which can I equip that? It gives plus five uh, HP. So let's put that there. Okay, so now we got five, uh, five more HP for a max of forty HP, which is really nice. We got a sack, which. Gives us more weight. Okay, so we can equip backpacks for more weight. Really cool. I think I get this much dropped because of the luck potion. So, actually getting the daily reward was really, really useful. And, uh, and I'm getting a lot of coins. So, that's also really uh, useful. So, let's kill this thing. We got a, a giant axe. Wait, what is it pointing at? Oh, we got a new skill! Heart skin. Uh, okay, so we just... If we do this, we we take less damage. Okay, that's that's a lame scale. It looks cool, but it's a lame scale. Oh, it's the skill for the two-handed shield. And actually, if you equip something else, you uh, you earn XP for that class. So, for example, we are level two right now. But if I switch weapons, we should be level one in this weapon. So. Let's see, if we kill some stuff, we should level up uh, with this weapon. Also, this weapon is so much better. Uh, get the two-handed weapon when you start the game. Like, seems legit. I can hit two enemies at the same time. This is awesome, dude! Oh, we're gonna fly through this with this weapon. I need to heal, though. So, let's kill these real quick. And let's head over to the fountain. I feel like we can heal at the fountain. 
Healing potions are expensive. How am I supposed to heal? Do I just have to die? Where is the passive healing? Do you have passive healing? Okay, I've been standing around for a couple of minutes. There is no passive healing from what I understand. So we're just gonna kill the blobs and hope we don't die. So wah, wah, rah, let's go. Rah, rah, rah. Okay, let's go. I hope we uh, we get healed when we level up. So bam, and bam, and bam. Oh, uh, rah. Yes, okay, 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 nice. This is how we're gonna do it. I'm just gonna... Yes, double team. Hey, that's my item, my dude. You stupid, you already got the body armor, dude. That's just unfair. That is literally just unfair. Wow, but luckily we're gonna kill this thing. And we're gonna level up and we healed. Let's go. Let's put more in strength. Now we got six strength, let's go. Bam, bam, bam. And let's kill you. Bam, bam, bam. Okay, guys, already 20 slimes killed. We're going really, really well. This axe is amazing. I just found myself a helmet. Uh, it gives me armor. But it gets rid of our gorgeous hair. So, unfortunately, we're bald now. But, uh... We gotta pick up the armor because we don't want to die and we want to get this quest over with as soon as possible. So let's keep killing these slimes and uh, hopefully I see you in a bit. Only 20 more to kill. Ooh, we learned a new skill. Ooh, wait, training, uh, training blade. Boom. Okay, but it said we learned a new skill. Uh, let's see, how do we equip that again? There we go. Okay, so let's try it out on this slime. Rah! Oh, that almost one-shot him, dude. Let's go. Oh, okay, so five more only. Five more. This is gonna be pretty easy. I don't think the attack I just did cost mana. Let's go. Boom. Okay, two more. Two more. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yes. Yes. Okay, we finished. Let's complete the quest and earn the reward. Next quest, we have to see the shopkeeper to sell, uh, basically sell our items is probably the, the goal. And we got quite a lot of duplicate items. So let's see if they are actually worth to sell anything. Um, how can we sell though? How can we sell? Oh, like this. There we go. Boom. Sell. We got three silver, which we we can't really buy anything useful for that. But uh, I think that is the quest complete indeed. So let's turn that in and see what the next quest actually is. The next quest is to check out the bank, but I feel like we should do that next time. You know, honestly, that game was really, really cool. And I really enjoyed it. That game, yeah... I would definitely play it again. What about you guys? Are you excited for this game? Do you want to see more on this game? Let me know. But so far it looks very promising. Let's just hope it becomes more of an RPG and not really a simulator. But anyway guys, thank you all so much for watching. If you liked this video and want to see more, please hit that like and subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.